name is Elio Schechter. That's not my full name, but that's the name I go by. Elio is an Italian name, and the reason for it is I, I was born in Italy. My parents came from Poland, uh, but I was born in Italy, and I spent a good part of my life in South America, in Ecuador. Then I came here. I spent most of the time in Boston, then I came to San Diego. I used to live in Boston. When I moved to San Diego, which is because of my current wife, she was living here, that's why I moved. I found out that there wasn't a mushroom club. And I said, what do you mean there isn't a mushroom club? In Boston there was a thriving, very active mushroom club and I was very involved in it. So I met some people who had some interest in it and together we started the mushroom club. I never did mycology as a science. I did microbiology as a science, but my interest in mushrooms came about because my, my late wife called me at work and said, listen, it had rained a lot. She says, the backyard is full of mushrooms. Remember, we have friends in Portland, Oregon. They brag about how they go and pick mushrooms and eat them. On the way home, why don't you buy a book on mushrooms? We'll find out what they are. Ah, so I did that. I, I'm, I'm an obey, I obey everything I'm told, so I, I'm very, very obedient. So I bought the book, I gave it to her. She opened it up, and in five minutes, she said, I don't know, you look. Obviously, that's not a way of finding out what mushrooms, what mushrooms you have. Uh, it's the hard way. But luck would have it that that day, that weekend, the August Boston Mushroom Club advertised in the Boston paper that they were going to have a foray, a walk. It was in the neighborhood, so I decided to go. I go there and I found a collection of Yankees. You know, you can live in Boston all your life and never meet a Yankee. You find Italians, uh, Hispanics, Jewish people, Germans, no, no Yankees. So there were a bunch of, they were all dressed up. The men had ties and shirts and jackets. The women were all dressed up. And so, okay. So they started to walk and the guy said, you're new here, aren't you? I said, yes, would you wanna, wanna walk with me? I said, fine. So we started walking and he says, what are you interested in mushrooms? I had not the foggiest idea of what to say. So I quickly said, well, uh, first let me ask you, what's your interest in mushrooms? And he says, Thoreau in mushrooms. I said, what? Thoreau wrote about mushrooms and I'm interested in what he wrote. Okay. So I joined the club. We used to go on walks on Sundays and on Monday night meet at Harvard where they gave us a room. And I was very, I went all the time during the season. The season is from uh, July to uh, October. And I, I went there every week. So after a couple of years, one of these guys says to me, nice of you to come, come again. <laughs> I've been coming for three years. <laughs> Anyhow, so I became uh, very active in the club and I was the editor of the Boston, of the Bulletin of the Boston Club. So that's how it happened. And coming here, uh, obviously, uh, this is not the greatest place in the world for mushrooms. But when it rains, there are mushrooms. And then the, um, the uh, coastal oak forest, you can find quite a few mushrooms, in fact, if it rains, when it rains. So that's, and what happened is we are blessed to have a room at Balboa Park, which is convenient, nice, nice to get there, easy parking, and we meet. And the number of people who attend the meetings is fabulous. There's usually 50, 60 people, which is more than we have in Boston. So we talk about them. We have a mushroom, virtual mushroom club. <laughs> we don't have many mushrooms, but we talk a lot about them. And uh, it's, a, it's a great fun because the topics are really quite wide, from eating, poisoning, identification, the biology of fungi, and so forth. So there's a lot to talk about. Small thing considered is a blog. Well, what happened was when I retired, I wanted to write about microbiology topics. But I found that there is not a venue where you can send something in, like a newspaper, where you can send a column every so often. There isn't such a thing in science. 
So I, um, the American Society for Microbiology, which I had been president of, uh, the guy there said, you know, we talked about a blog. And I said, what's a blog? How do you spell it? B-L-O-G, okay. What is it? So he explained, and he said, would you like to, we, we were talking about having one, would you like to start it? I said, yes, and he helped me set it up. So that's how the blog started. The um, podcast, which is called This Week in Microbiology, is a different story. There's a guy at Columbia University called uh, Vincent Racaniello, and he has a bunch of podcasts. So he started one on microbiology, he asked me to join him. That's, that's how it happened. So I'm pretty busy with those two things. The only book I wrote for the public is called In the Company of Mushrooms. It was published by Harvard University Press. Um, I, uh, it's no longer in print. You can find it for good money, unfortunately, in, uh, on Amazon.com or someplace like that. But um, I, I wrote it because I had written a number of pieces for the bulletin of the Boston Club. And so I had a number of pieces. And so I, somebody said, why don't you write a book? I said, well, I'm not in the book writing business, but I thought, I thought about it. And these pieces that I had written hung together, sort of. So I called, uh, Harvard University Press had contacted me about writing. So I said, they said to me, we'll, we want a book of yours on any topic. Well, I remember that, so I called back because when I wanted to write a book on mushrooms, I had to find a publisher. And it turns out people were not interested. I, uh, I called a guy up and says, mushrooms, your, my fees wouldn't cover the cost of the phone calls. Thanks a lot. A lady said to me, I would be very happy, but I have a bar mitzvah in my hands. I'm very busy. So who do I go to? So I went to Harvard. I called the guy up and says, you said, you told me, remember what she said? Yes. We said, we'll publish a book of yours on any topics. You have a book? He says, yes. What's the topic? I said, mushrooms. And you could see his face elongating on the phone. Mushrooms, we don't do that. Okay. I thought there was that. But then he said, wait a minute, I'm a man of my words. Have you written anything? I said, yes, I have a couple of chapters. Why don't you send them to me? I sent them to him and two weeks later, I got a contract. And he put a fabulous editor on it and a very fine uh, designer. If you notice, this is really a very beautiful cover. The cover got prizes actually. Anyhow, so I enjoyed writing it. This is different. This is a textbook for medical students. Oh no, for undergraduates. I wrote one for undergraduates and a different one for medical students. That's going very well, except that students don't buy books anymore. They go online. So this is past history. So I'm, I'm done with books. The best advice I can give is join the club because it's easy. If you show a mushroom to somebody who knows what they are and they can tell you what it is. If you try to do it on your own with textbooks, it's almost hopeless. It's very, very difficult. So joining the club or meeting somebody, getting to know somebody who's, who knows mushrooms is the only way that I can advise people to do it. And um, you, you gotta stick with it. I mean, you, if you stick with it and you learn a number of mushrooms, you will add to your knowledge. You will you'll know more and more and more. So after, if you, if you do it right and you stick with it, Within a year, you're going to know a lot of the common mushrooms of the area, such as they are here. But, you know, whatever we have, you're going to get to know them. And so after a year or two, you get to know a couple of hundred mushrooms, which is not bad, because that's the majority of the ones you're going to see here. So it's, um, it's work, but it's well worth it, because uh, I like to say that Mushroom hunting, if you contrast it with bird watching, it has many similarities. Like you don't, when you go out bird watching, you don't know what birds you're going to find. When you go out mushroom hunting, you don't know what mushrooms you're going to find. That's good. However, 
There's some advantages to mushroom hunting. You don't have to be quiet while you're looking for them. You don't worry about them flying away. And if you find the right ones, you can even eat them. So what could be better? But there is another advantage to, to mushroom hunting. It gets you into the woods. And uh, people like me were theoretical mushroom walkers. In theory, I like to walk in the woods. And in practice, I never did. With mushrooms in your trusty basket and a whistle in case you get lost, you have no problem going out in the woods. And so, the, and there are some nice forests around here, some uh, county parks, state parks, really lovely places you can go to. So it's it's a good thing to do. The thing that happens is that you immediately make friends because you're sharing something unusual. And so when you join the club, it's not like you're joining a club incognito as part of a strange group of people. Within no, in no time flat, you become friends with people. And you share the, the experience. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a nice feeling. Happy hunting, happy mushroom hunting. <laughs>